Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and today I want to discuss about a project which is Islamabad House Price Prediction. So uh, let's just start our app and see what we have built and how it's look like, right? So you can see it is starting out and we got our server. So let's follow this link and you can see the interface of our app so this is the simple as and as the project description says like you have to enter the required fields and it will predict the house price for you okay so let's select some parameters for our model and let's say i want a house in a sector f6 okay uh, it's is the location in the Islamabad and I want area in Marla as let's say five Marla so I want and who don't know Marla for those uh, just you can get the idea in this square feet right so five Marla will equal to uh, this much square foot okay and number of bathrooms let's say three number of bedrooms let's say three okay so when i hit this submit button all of these parameters will be fit to our model right and you can say you have to pay so this price was like predicted uh, by our model to buy a house of and that was the information which we have uh, put in the website right and uh, good luck yeah so let's just change a bit and let's say uh, if i just uh, increase some modulars so as the area increase price should increase so let's see yeah we have to pay a lot right so uh, it's in lakhs and uh, you have to pay like 113 lakh in order to get okay and let's just change area a bit uh, let's say 11 and submit it so you can see price is increased uh, so uh, one of the reason can be like uh, e 11 is the most posh area uh, than the f6 right so that can be a reason and our model has recognized the pattern in that right so let's see how we have built our model and uh, what was our data set and let me just close this one we will come to this one later how uh, the deployment part let's see the notebook on which we have performed the exploratory data analysis part right so uh, i'm just importing the libraries and this was the, my data set which i got from kegel i will uh, uh, give the description uh, link in the description so that you can do uh, things on it right and that was the head of our data so let me just close it and you can say you can see that it got price it got location it got city and it was the data set for whole pakistan right so i am just interested interested in the islamabad for this project so i just i will just choose this uh, rows with only city as islamabad right and we will do it in a bit okay so uh, these was like uh, the variables which i got from the uh, data set and it was uh, collected by uh, zameen.com right so we can say it's a variable uh, source right okay and uh, here you can see like i am only uh, selecting rows which uh, in which city is equal to islamabad right so uh, i can't like uh, i am not inter interested in the prices of whole pakistan so i am just uh, doing it for islamabad right and then i am just uh, property type is equal to high house right so I don't want a uh, flat in our data set or I don't want uh, like a uh, plot uh, which is like uh, which will like create a big difference in prices right and uh, then we have like purpose for rent or for sale it will create a lot of impact if we just uh, do it for both 
so uh, i am just interested in uh, house price prediction so i am just uh, doing it for purpose for sale right and then house price uh, i am just uh, dividing my uh, house prices uh, by a lakh right because uh, this was like a very bigger number you can see if we can see the price yeah so uh, this is like uh, one crore right and you can see like uh, these zeros will confuse our model right so we have to like uh, get it in scale and then i just uh, create a box plot to see the outliers in our price and you can see after 4000 it's quite uh, like uh, you can say these are the outliers right so i'm just removing those and then I'm just printing the shape and then uh, yeah so this was the column the first column which is unnamed and we obviously want to remove that so here i am removing uh, that column and some of the other columns which will like no, uh, don't impact the uh, price of the house like latitude longitude we can't do things with that and page url or location id so these things are just uh, not useful for our model prediction and model performance right so we just uh, got our clean data set as price location uh, number of bathrooms and number of bedrooms and total area right so this is in the uh, like a square foot right but uh, as we know like uh, we deal in mullahs in pakistan so i just uh, take care of that in my deployment part and then i am just uh, saying how many location or how many societies we have in our data set and it's quite a lot right so uh, i will just uh, import these in my deployment uh, with the help of jinja templating for the right and then i am just uh, these uh, and you can see we got the isb data those csv so this cleaned data set will be like exported into that file and then we are just doing some other uh, like getting the idea about our data and then what we are doing is uh, like selecting our x and y uh, for the model feeding or model training and then uh, just uh, importing some models and doing the train test split and then I, i'm just applying a model right so uh, on the uh, location as we know like we have very unique values so we just uh, created one hot encoder for that in our pipeline right and then i just uh, applied the linear regression and you can see the accuracy i'm getting was 69.9 percent or 70 percent right which is quite low so we have to increase it and with the lasso regression i got uh, the same accuracy right uh, nothing changes here and with the ridge regression i got almost same right so uh, i just <laughs> changed my algorithm and uh, like ran random forest regressor just like uh, just worked like a magic uh, on my data set and it got me 86.7 percent which was quite uh, good enough uh, for me as we are doing a practice project only we can obviously increase that uh, by doing uh, some other analysis on our uh, data and like creating some more features with that and but we are good with 86.7 percent for now and then we are just uh, making a pickle of our model as isb house price predictor dot pkl and you can see i got the file as here and let's go to the deployment part and by the way guys you can like uh, contact me for this source code and uh, i will try to like 
arrange a zoom explainer session if you want uh, to do it right so uh, yeah so uh, we are just uh, like setting up our directory as static because we want to show that image in this image and then we are just loading our model and then if we are getting the post request which we will get from our index right and uh, because index has a form let me show you index has a form where it is yeah so you can see this form will uh, like uh, send a post request to display and we are saying if you are getting a post request so uh, like uh, save the values in these variables and then we are passing these values as the uh, parameters right for our model and then we are just uh, predicting this result uh, with the input as we are like getting the location the bathrooms number of bathroom bedroom and marla entered by user and for the marla part i just like multiplied the marla one marla by 273 to get in in the square foot because in our original data set it was in square foot so we have to take care of that and you can see like uh, we have to multiply it uh, by 272.3 so we just i uh, just multiplied it 273 right and then uh, we are just uh, limiting uh, the our float value to up to two decimal place and on the display we are just showing our predicted price as this as this price and the marla entered by user the location the bedroom entered by user and the bathrooms entered by user right so this was it guys for today and i hope you like the project and if you like interested in the source code or maybe you want to show it somewhere or uh, wanna arrange a zoom session zoom explainer session for this part uh, i can obviously do that uh, you can contact me on this whatsapp or maybe mail me at this uh, gmail and visit my website so thank you